said, Shalom, Shalom, my young. But like the first off and foremost, give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakodash, the blessing of the elders and apostles of great millstone the rule well, and must peace safety and bless us to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord, y'all from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana County, coming back again with another brief lesson. And as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? You know, and I'm uh, basically doing it in transit, you know, so uh, brothers, just bear with me. But, um, you know, through the Spirit, just wanted to go in into uh, appreciation, you know, appreciate uh, what was given unto you. You know, whichever portion Yahweh Bashim Yahshua gave unto you, you know, appreciate it. Appreciate just being able to receive and understand, you know, this truth. You know, appreciate it because uh, 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 what the scriptures say, man, uh, 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 freely have you been, uh, uh, freely you uh, receive, uh, uh, you, you know, freely you give, you know. So you ultimately have to understand exactly what has been given uh, to you, you know, and that's why we always reflect upon Yahweh Shah. Let me get that first. So like, let me get that first. You know, this is why we always reflect upon Yahweh Shah, you know, because he, he would, he laid down. It's life for us so that we can be able to be uh, granted the sure mercies of David. You know, to be granted uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? This is John chapter 15 and verse 13. It says, Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. You see? And we are the friends of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We are the friends of Yahweh Shah. You know? That's why it tells us in what, verse 15. It says, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant not, knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, right? For all things that I have heard of my father, all things that I have heard of my father, I have made it known unto you, you know? Let's get this word friend, you know? The, the Lord have made all these things manifest, you know? He have made them uh, uh, known. He have declared them unto, you know, his, his friends. And what his friends are going to ultimately be doing is passing the, uh, the message to the rest of the friends, you know? So let me get this word friends real quick. All right, to be a friend, it says to be friendly to one, to wish him well. You see, when you read uh, uh, the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul said what? My hope for you is that you shall be delivered or saved. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. It says he who associates of for, uh, for I can't see this word <laughs> familiarly with one. It says a companion, right? A companion. Let's get this word. Right. This is the book of uh, Psalms. This is the book of Psalms. Uh, yep. This is the book of Psalms, chapter one, nineteen, and verse sixty-three. It says, I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. You see? And the only ones that, that's going to ultimately keep the Lord's precepts, right? Let me get it. All his friends. So by us having and being uh, uh, obtainers of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we're supposed to appreciate what was given unto us, man. All right? Yeah, we're in captivity, but hey, man, we, we ultimately are subject to seeing the light at the end of this tunnel. All right, real quick. This is Sirach. This is Sirach chapter 39 and verse 1. It says, But he that give it his mind to the law of the Most High, right? He that give it his mind unto the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek, will seek out of the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and will so tell parables, or he will be there also. You see? And that's exactly what the friends of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua are doing, man. Hasting the coming of the turn of our Lord. All right? That, that, that great second coming. This is what we hasten, what we long for. You know? And in the, in, in the process of doing that, we must appreciate it. Like, for example, look at the things that Yahweh Shai, uh, 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 or well, the things that was done unto Yahweh Shai, just so that we could receive this. You know? And that's why the Lord told Peter, hey, Peter, put up your, uh, put up your sword, man. You know, don't get mad. These things must happen. You know, understanding that what prophecy had to be fulfilled. The end couldn't come unless Yahweh Shai uh, uh, laid down his life for his brothers. You know, let me get this uh, precept. Uh, I 
know it's in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 5 and uh let me see verse uh yep I started verse 6 well I started verse 4 5 it says and hope make it make it not ashamed that's right you see hope make it not ashamed it says because the love of the most high is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given unto us you see that's that great word comfort that spirit of comfort that hope right being able to receive, we we were able to receive the good news, you know, knowing that uh, 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 the great famine is at hand, and and our Lord said that He was going to make sure that we were taken care of. All right, even in everyday life, the Lord makes sure that where well, you get that daily bread, the Lord makes sure that you stay protected. You know, He tells us that what well, He He keeps those angels in camp, what uh, uh, girded round about those that would fear Him. Only those that fear Him are going to have, have those angels around them. Making sure that they're protected in everyday life, man. You know? And you gotta, in this walk, you gotta constantly believe that. That's that hope. You know? You can't put off your hope from day to day. You gotta walk every day with this, this same hope. And, and ultimately uh, uh, have that hope increase. You know? Which ultimately goes into what? More faith. Right? More faith. More confidence. Scripture tell you what? Boast in the Lord. Now, if you're doing these things, the Lord is ultimately gonna have you in situations to where you're subject to hoping. And then he... Or what delivers you out of that situation or, or delivers you and gets you through that situation, you know? Therefore, you can boast in the Lord. And that builds up your confidence even more as we continue to approach uh, this finish line, you know? Verse 6, it says, For when we were yet without strength, because what? Our, our strength, <laughs> our strength is Yahweh Shai, right? That's our great strength. Yahweh Bashim Shai is our strength. But we lost that, right? By way of what? Being alienated from the commonwealth, okay, putting put putting uh, 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 putting on a, a weak nature, right? Becoming uh, uh, subject to the flesh, you know. That's how we lost our strength. It says, "In due time, Hamashiach died for the ungodly." You see, and what makes us ultimately godly is what walking in the ways of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, which proves exactly what that strength is, right? It says. Hey, hey, what uh, what King David constantly says, shit, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my refuge. You see, it says, but it says, uh, for scarcely a righteous man will for will will one die. You see, for a righteous man, scarcely one will die. Now look at Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai died uh, for the holy elect. <laughs> you see, it says, yet preadventure for a good man, some wouldn't even dare to die. You see. And that's how you ultimately identify who the men of the Lord are. Because the scriptures, the scriptures tell you in Romans 12 and 1, what, uh, uh, pre present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So in this thing, we would uh, die daily and, and endure all things for the elect's sake. You know? We endure all things for the elect's sake. But you you have these uh, uh, peons in the world. Hey, man, they can't put off the things that they, they're subject to doing in the flesh. You know, and that's why uh, the scripture tell you what those that reap to the flesh shall shall ultimately uh what uh, uh salaki those that sow to the flesh shall reap corruption. You know, they're not gonna be able to put on this incorruption that we're ultimately uh, uh, about to put on, man. You know, they're gonna they're not gonna be able to uh, uh, become uh, uh, immortal. You see, they're gonna have to uh, uh, what no no death by pain this first go around. You see. But it all comes and starts with us appreciating, man. The more you appreciate and read the things that Yahweh Shah went through as far as uh, what Isaiah 53. You see? Him uh, uh, born, born in our iniquities. You see? Him being beaten. Him being uh, uh, wounded. You see? Him being spit on. Giving a uh, uh, vinegar. Piss. You see? All of these uh, 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 filthy things by these fucking uh, heathens, man. Just so that we can uh, uh, get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, go out on the highways and hedges, and ultimately uh, uh, turn back and remember ourselves. You know, that's the speech about in the book of Baruch. You know, 
See, in the land of the, in the land of our captivities, we shall remember ourselves, man. So that's putting back on, you know, uh, 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 that 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 first estate. You see, put back on the first estate. But in order to do that, you gotta appreciate it, man. The more you appreciate, uh, 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 uh this this movie that we're basically living in, right? How you, the Lord protects us. The Lord has woken us up, you know, in a fashion that He wanted. The Lord has increased us with His goods. You see. The more you're gonna capital, the more we're gonna capitalize, you know, to, to better our situations and ultimately, you know, be found favorable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah. You know, that's how these things work, you know. So appreciate, appreciate uh, you know, the things that were given unto you in the spirit, man. You know, it's for, for your betterment, but ultimately it's for the betterment of the body, you know, because we uh ultimately are subject to we're working together, you see. The more you appreciate, the more things ultimately uh, are gonna be smoother, you know. And that goes really goes with uh, uh, counting the costs, you know, because even though you appreciate it, you gotta uh, know exactly what you signed up for, you know. So, Lord willing, you know, I j just was doing this little in transit, you know, something on my spirit, Lord willing, uh, I'll be able to get a lesson in, you know, get, go a little more uh, detail on. But uh, Lord willing, you know, this is edifying to the Lord's elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone and rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, Shalom.